you can f*** right off. You don't think America's watching all that? Get your blindside butter beans ready because Big Brother season 24 is officially turning the tides of the house. And can I just say, this is the best episode we've gotten in years. Now, did it all spark because Daniel and Nicole were being like absolutely disgusting to Taylor? Yes, it's not ideal, but the leftovers are here and I haven't been this hyped over an alliance in years. That ends today. Okay, let's get into Wednesday's episode because I am like so excited, so much happened. I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Okay, last we left off, Turner won HOH, he put up Festy Besties Michael and Brittany, kind of expecting Michael to win veto and take them down so that Nicole and Taylor could go up and the house could get Taylor out. You know, business as usual, the house hates Taylor for like no reason. Taylor's own Festy Bestie, Nicole actually wants her out. Well, she wants whatever power comes from not having a bestie in the house. And Amira is lying to Turner saying that Taylor wants to target a guy next. It's all looking good for them until... Alyssa lets her goo-goo eyes for Kyle turn into spilling news about the girls' alliance, and Joseph turns 25, his prefrontal cortex fully takes in everything that's happening in the house. We're gonna flip the script. Dude, dude, we could. Joseph, Kyle, Monty, and Turner are suddenly like, wait a second, with Pooch getting blindsided last week, it's the girls who have the number in the house. And if we take Taylor out, it only helps them because they really hate her. They realize they need to get someone like Amira out, a strong competitor, meaning that if and when Michael and Brittany come down, Amira and Terrence should go up instead. Then if they bring in Michael and Brittany and Taylor, boom, they flip the house. And the wheels are turning. Oh, I hope this works, dude. This would be insane if Amira went, holy. Next up, we've got veto selection, and it's Turner and Jasmine, Michael and Brittany, and Taylor and Nicole playing. Now, Nicole is all for throwing the comp, but when she learns that surviving eviction this week doesn't guarantee safety for next week, she's heated. She like clears the room, she's really upset. The other house guests think she's got some kind of bad news about her mom, but it's apparently all about her having to throw the comp. And somehow, this plan she volunteered for herself is all Taylor's fault. Nicole and Daniel are officially unhinged at this point. I don't see her as a good person. I know. I don't see her as a good person either. Meanwhile, Taylor's out there at the same time praying for Nicole. And when Nicole finally recovers, Taylor lets her know that as her bestie, not to worry about her if she gets to the point where she needs to tap out of the game, which of course Nicole takes completely wrong. I was a cop for 10 years. I am a fighter. I don't need somebody telling me to bow out. Nicole then tells Daniel that Taylor's trying to get her to quit. And Daniel, who just hates Taylor for like unknown reasons, goes off. He tells her to F off, not to speak to him again. It's her fault Paloma left. She's playing mind games. I will never forget what you did to Paloma. You think she didn't spiral because of you? You didn't add to that? And now you're trying to do it to Nicole? It is disgusting and totally unwarranted, but it did give us this iconic moment. From this point on, just stop. With the lace? And it left the other house guests kind of shocked. I have never once witnessed a concrete instance in which Taylor bluntly disrespected somebody. Then comes the veto. Nicole's throwing it, Jasmine passes out for some reason, so yeah, Michael and Brittany win. That's my best dude! With the veto in their hands, the plan to backdoor Amira is in full motion. And after what went down with Daniel and Taylor, it's not hard to convince Michael, Brittany, and Taylor to join up. You're not a shield. You're a part of this alliance. Everyone's part of it. And thus, the leftovers are formed. I say it's time for the leftovers to take over. <laughs> And that's where we end with the Big Brother Avengers basically linking up. Taylor is finally accepted into an alliance that actually values her, and it looks like the nasties on the other side of the house are finally gonna taste the block. Thursday's live eviction is gonna be absolutely wild, so make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. Then head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.